Hello, today I'm going to show you how I did the background on this tag. This was very much a learning curve for me when I did the background on this one because I'd never worked on acrylic before with the jelly plate and first of all I did it and all I ended up with when I looked at the right side was that which is just a blank blue background and at that point after I cleaned it off I realised you needed to work in reverse like you do when you've stamped a focal image and then you want to mask it off to do all your stamping direct to build up your background around your main image. So I'm going to be showing you today how I did that. I'm not going to be re recreating exactly this background because I'm going to go for more of a steampunk look with my finished tag. I'm going to be using an acrylic tag from the That's Crafty Surfaces range. I'm going to be using a number 10 tag. These tags do come with a protective film on both sides of them so do make sure you remove it prior to decorating your tags. This is the tag I'm going to be using. As you can see I've taken off the protective film and now it's a very very clear tag. I'm going to start off with a little bit of dry brushing. The inks I'm going to use are Fresco Paints by Paper Artsy and because we are doing the reverse of the tag everything we do we'll be looking at from the front. When I first did this I made the mistake of layering it up like you would normally layer up a tag. I put on my first thing and then I built all the background up and when I flipped it over to look through the other side of the tag which was going to be the front because I was going to layer glossy accents and other elements onto it all I could actually see was the pale blue background because everything else was hidden underneath so I learned from that to think very carefully about the order of things and the order you want them to be seen in on your tag. So I'm going to start off with my main focal image on my background and that's going to be a stencil. Because it's going to be seen from the front of the tag and you're working on the reverse of it, you have to think it's going to be seen like that. So when you lay it on your tag, to stencil through the colour you want it back to front otherwise when you flip it to look at it your image will be back to front but laying on the stencil back to front when you flip it it'll all be facing the right way. I'm going to use quite a dark colour to start with and I'm just going to dry brush this through my stencil to get a good coverage. The fresco finish paints dry very quickly and because they have a chalky finish they are ideal to use on acrylic tags or any other acrylic surface really. You can use other paints but you will have to seal the surface of the acrylic item you're using first of all with multi-medium to give it a little bit of tooth for the paint to grab to otherwise it will split over the surface a little bit and carefully take that off and when you look at it from the other side you can see the image is facing the right way. I was a bit heavy handed with the paint and so it's gone through the stencil a little bit. So now I'm going to lay that back down, move my stencil out of the way and I'll just give that a little bit of a dry with my heat gun. Do be careful when you dry things on acrylic that you don't get too close to it otherwise you'll end up distorting the acrylic a little bit. I'm going for a bit of a steampunk look on my background of my tag and I'm going to build up my surface with stencils and the jelly plate. I'm going to use the little circle jelly plate from the gel press petite set. 
this is about three inches in diameter and I'm going to apply it to an acrylic block. This acrylic block is about three and a half inches across and it's just a nice size for it. I've got a few little stencils that are a bit kind of grungy looking and I'm going to use various colours with these. I'm going to use some cream, some blue and maybe guacamole. I haven't totally decided yet. I'm going to go in first with some blue paint which I'm going to put on my craft mat, pick up with my brayer and apply it to my stencil which is on top of my jelly plate. So then you've got a nice stamp on to your acrylic background. I'll do a couple of them. That's it from the front. I'll do one more of the blue on there. I'll try and lay back over where it was to get a good image again. Spray the paint on. This time I'm going to go downwards in this corner. I'll give the jelly plate a bit of a wipe. Dry off the paint, clean it. And repeat that again with green, I think. On my craft mat. This time I'm going to use this stencil. I'll do exactly the same thing over the jelly plate. So it's covered. And fill in the gap. So far. What I'm going to do now is move on to the larger jelly plate to completely cover my background. Use that side is cleaner. A little bit of cream paint on my jelly plate. Brown it over. All dirt on my front of my tag. That's gone on the front of my tag where I don't want the paint because I put a dirty cloth on top of it. All I've used to clean the paint off is just a bit of kitchen roll and some hand sanitizer because that's very good at clearing up mistakes. Now I'm going to push that down. And just pick it up until I've got a good coverage of cream paint on it. I'm just going to dry that again. Again, don't keep the heat gun in one spot too long. Because 
that will just start your acrylic a little bit. That's dry. All I'm going to do now to protect the painted background is just give it a quick coat over with MAC Medium. If you don't do this, you might end up with your paint getting scratched off. Once the MAC Medium's dry, it will give it a nice coat of protection. And that's just the basic painted background layered up. You started off with the first stencil which was your focal point and then just added up the others. As you see I went from darker to not quite so dark and then to light and finished it off with the cream in the background. And all you can really see on the back is the cream. You've lost any detail from the front. Obviously this is just a quick show you so you can see the type of thing that it ends up looking like but obviously the more stencils you use the more you can build up your layer and this is just one side of your tag now you can go in on the other side and decorate it and you end up with quite a nice I don't know how well you can actually see that but because it's they're quite thick acrylic tags you get quite a nice 3D and a feeling of depth with it and what you can do, I haven't tried it yet, but what I think I might do is do one tag, do some stamping on this one, and then do another tag and stamp on it and build them up. And that way I think you'll end up with a really quite nice 3D effect, perhaps with two or three tags layered on top of each other. And this obviously will be your basic background at the bottom of it all. I hope you find this a little bit helpful and it might avoid you making a few of the mistakes that I made the first time I tried it.